Would you believe me if I told you that this beautiful little mini cake is made out of a whole box of zebra cake rolls? Well, it is, and I'm gonna show you how. I'm Sydney, the Wildflower Mama, and I'm so glad you're here watching this video. Now to get started, we do have to unroll all of the zebra cake rolls. It's very tedious and it is extremely messy. One tip I have for you is to go ahead and at least take all of the rolls out of the plastic wrap. That way you're not trying to unwrap the plastic with your sticky, greasy, slimy fingers while you're also trying to unroll these rolls with all of this nasty, gooey junk all over your hands. We are essentially unrolling all of the little rolls and re-rolling them into one giant roll that I like to call the big log. And once you cut into the big log, you're going to have a really cool vertical cake layer pattern. These rolls do not come unrolled very easily. Every single one of them began to break apart. So even if they break apart, just try to keep them lined up as best you can and do your best to just keep rolling with it. It will still look good on the inside once you're finished. I also suggest doing this part of the cake process on a cutting board so that you can just toss the whole cutting board in the sink, wash it, uh, throw it in your dishwasher, throw it in the garbage. I don't know how you want to do all that, but you know, then you don't have to worry about sweeping the crumbs off the countertop and wiping up all of this sticky, gunky crap off of your countertop. Just dispose of the cutting board however you like once you're done making the big log. Then we wrap the big log in plastic wrap, kind of form it, make sure it's nice and tight in there, shape it up, and we're gonna put it in the freezer for about an hour. We're gonna decorate the big log with a buttercream wrap. To do this, we need a sheet of acetate. I will link the one that I use below the video. I measured the height and the circumference of the big log and I cut my acetate sheet to match that. You want it to be a pretty exact fit according to the size of your cake. That way you don't have a lot of excess buttercream to remove. Tape the four corners of your acetate sheet to your countertop and start applying dollops of buttercream. I'm using leftover buttercream that was already colored from a previous project. And I didn't really have a specific pattern in mind. I just wanted it to be an abstract mismatch of different colors. If you need a good buttercream recipe, I have one on my website. I also have a bunch of tips on there for how to get your buttercream very smooth. Whatever kind of design you go with, just make sure that you have the acetate sheet completely covered once you're finished. Again, I was just going for a very abstract look with large patches of color. You could very easily marble the colors together um, by swirling them, get like a fork or a toothpick or a knife and swirl the colors together for a marbled effect. So I've got a pretty thick stack of buttercream splotches here on my acetate sheet. So I'm just going to gently level that out. I'm not really mixing the colors at the base of the acetate sheet. I'm just leveling out the top so that it is flush and will be easy to apply to our cake. This would be a good time to use a toothpick or a knife and marble the colors together if you wanted to do that. After about an hour in the freezer, the cake should be nice and chilled. This is gonna help the buttercream stick to the cake and help it all set pretty quickly once it's wrapped. This part is really very simple. You're just going to start at one end of the wrap and roll the wrap all the way around the roll or wrap the roll with the wrap. Once the roll is wrapped, you're going to apply some buttercream to the base of a cake board and stick the big log on the cake board using a spatula, a scraper, or your hands. Press the buttercream wrap into the cake to make sure it's secured and make sure it's nice and flush, evenly applied all the way around. Chill the cake in the freezer for at least 30 minutes before removing the wrap. If you begin to remove the wrap and the buttercream is sticking to the wrap and not to the cake, just stop and put your cake back in the freezer and chill for another 30 minutes. Otherwise, unwrap the cake very gently and then use a hot knife. I usually run a knife under some hot water to warm it up and cut the jagged edge off of the top of the cake. Make sure the knife is nice and hot and don't really push the knife through the buttercream, but let the 
Let the knife sort of melt the buttercream and gently work your way around the cake. Then we're going to fill the top of the cake, which was previously uncovered. We're going to fill that with buttercream. Use your spatula to just sort of smooth it down, make it nice and flat. And then you can use your bench scraper to go around the outside edges to tidy up the top area. Press very gently with your bench scraper into the side of the cake. This will help smooth down any rough edges or any bubbles or air pockets that may have formed in the buttercream wrap. Make sure you are wiping clean your spatulas, your bench scraper, whatever you're using to apply the buttercream and smooth down the buttercream. Otherwise, you will keep reapplying the old buttercream and mixing the colors together and it's not going to be very pretty. You don't have to apply much pressure at all, just very gently smooth down the sides of the cake, trying to fill in any gaps. You can add more buttercream if you have any holes in the cake. And again, wipe your scraper or your spatula clean after each pass around the cake to ensure that your colors are not running together. Now I'm tidying up the base of the cake board so that it looks really nice. And then I'm going to apply the finishing touches. I have a very serious problem where I cannot finish a cake without edible glitter or gold leaf. So I am finishing this cake with some edible gold leaf. I will link this gold leaf below the video. I also thought it was kind of funny to decorate something as inexpensive as zebra cakes with gold leaf. It might seem over the top, but I did want to show that even if you don't have extraordinary baking skills or maybe you're on a tight budget, you can still make an extraordinary cake for any occasion. Also, ever since I started doing my snack cake makeovers, one of the most requested snack cake makeovers has been the zebra cake rolls, so I wanted to make sure it was really well done. Thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope that this has helped you and inspired you to go and make a fabulous Little Debbie cake. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all, and also let me know what you'd like to see next. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.